Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If this is your first time here, thanks for visiting and check out our other videos and like and subscribe. So here I am getting ready to install some new lights above where the couch area is and the dinette area. So I wanted to check the wires to make sure I know which is actually the hot and which is the negative. I always like to do this when I'm installing new lights so I don't burn them up. Now that everything's hooked up and installed, let's give it a test run and see what it looks like. I think it looks pretty good myself. So now let's go install the second light that would be above the dinette area. One thing that does concern me about these lights is the globe on them is real glass, so they're pretty heavy, but I think they'll be okay. They're held up with three screws and uh, I at least got one of them in a stud on each one of them so it should hold them but uh, they are fairly heavy other than that I really like the lights so now that both lights are installed let's test them out and see what they look like let's step back and get a better view I think they look pretty sharp myself gonna look good now on to the light above the sink gonna change it out with a new low profile LED light Okay, got that installed. Let's put the lens cover on it. It just snaps in and turns, and it's got a push button in the center. That looks much better. Really going to come in handy. Really brightens this area up. Okay, there's only two lights left that hasn't been changed out, and I'm getting ready to take care of that. Now that those are installed, let's give them a test. Look pretty good. I still got to put the lens cover on the uh, double light. Kelly has started painting the cabinets. We'll have some videos of that, I believe, coming up. But uh, I'm going to remove this shelving that they put in here. And I'm going to put it back, but I'm going to order... I'm going to order the right mounting stuff to mount it so it's not like this. So. But uh, yeah, this is going to look really good when it's done. So this is our little stove cover. You can see it's pretty bad shape. So I'm going to remove this top and repaint it. But how you remove this top is you lay this thing all the way down. And you see that little notch right there? That notch slides over a pin. You've got one on this side. That side's a little hard to get out. It's bent. But yeah, you just, when it's down flat, it should lift up. Slide it back a little bit. You've got a little notch right there. And then it hooks on this pin right down there. The pin right there. And it just pops right up off of it. There it is. We're going to redo it.
for the stove top. I'm not sure really what to do with it. I don't know if that, I don't know if I can get a glossy white high temperature paint, but if I can, I will uh, do it. And I'm not sure how it comes out. I think it comes out, there it goes. Yeah, just had two little pins. So, there we go. All right, I've checked that the propane was off and double checked and checked again. I turned all these. I don't have any sound coming out, so. I'm gonna hook this gas line. When I say sound coming out, I don't hear any gas escape. Well, let me go get another wrench to hold that nut. All right, got another wrench. That the leak. I'll blame it. Not sure if I need to unhook this on the other end or not. Looks like this is held in by one, two, three, four, four screws. There it comes. Six screws. So it's six screws. One there, 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 and then two down there on the bottom. Boom. This is our, this is our stove. I don't know what you call that, the pan for the stove, whatever, but it's white. And we're going to paint it black and see how that works out. Got some degreaser, some sandpaper, and a scrubbing pad. So let's see if we can get this thing cleaned up. All right, so what I did first was I sprayed it down with a degreaser. And then I scrubbed it all with the pad to remove all the loose dirt and debris and the old grease that was on the top. Came out uh, really clean other than the areas where you see the rust. And then on these rust areas, I took some uh, 230 sandpaper, started out with that, and used that to clean up the rust areas the best I could. Didn't want to remove any more paint than I had to. 
And then I turned around and took some 400 grit wet dry sandpaper and sanded the whole unit down to give it uh, something for the paint to stick to. I forgot to push record when I started painting. I, I hate that. But as you can see here, it's looking pretty good. I think I have about three coats on it at this point. And it looks really good. The only areas that it really shows up bad is right around the uh, burner eyes where they come through, where the porcelain was cracked. I didn't want to sand that down too far. I was afraid it would make it look worse than it did. But I'll be anxious to see how this high temperature paint holds up after a few suppers are cooked on it. My serenade is in the background. I guess they're having karaoke next door. Mm -hmm. Trying to get that one little area right there. Not perfect, but it's better than what it was. Bam. So, so this was white. As you see, we painted it. Let's put it back together and see what it looks like. And the cover, I'm not sure if we, we may end up taking this off. Alright, another project done.